Hey everyone, happy Halloween! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this origami cat head. And this is what I taught in the live stream. And back here, what's really cool about it is that uh, you can give it teeth like that. See? So you can disappear the teeth like this. And then you can just fold it up and there's the teeth. Isn't that cool? And ready, set, here it goes. Okay, so for this model, I'm going to use a 6 inch square of kami. So let's begin with the white side up. And fold in half. Unfold. And fold in half this way too. We're making a fish base. Okay. And fold to the crease. And same here too. Okay, and now make the folds at the same time, like that. And flatten the flap in, in one direction. Okay, and repeat on this side too. And flatten both of the flaps in the, the same direction like this. Alright. And turn over. And fold these two corners to the middle. Okay. Turn over. And now this is kind of a tricky step. Not too bad though. We're going to open this up like this and open this part up too. And you want to squash this, not perfectly, but squash it like this. So we're going to anchor the fold at this point. And this is going to be one of the ears, by the way. So yeah, the, these two points are going to be the two ears. So flatten it like this so it hits the point. Okay, and flatten that. And repeat on, and this is not going to lie flat yet. And repeat on this side open here and squash at the point right here okay like this now take this part we're gonna squash it like this so this corner aligns with the middle oh yeah this this point should um should pretty much go to this crease this crease right here A little crease right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. All right, and now we're gonna take this part. We're gonna do a similar thing with it, and this is actually um, a rather challenging step. So good luck. So we're gonna take this part and we're gonna fold it over the edge. So it's not too hard yet, but I'll show you the tricky part in a minute. And same on this side too. So we have it like this, and now we're going to try to flatten it, and this is tricky, so good luck. So if you can do this, congratulations. Okay, so flatten it like this, and you want to flatten it, and make sure the point flattens on, on here like this, okay? And you want to make a mountain fold in between these two points, right here. So, in between these two points, okay? And then just try and keep that fold all the way across. Alright? And flatten this like this. So we're making like a pleat here. And you can just do this however you can. Like this. It's... So it's gonna end up somewhat like like this. So yeah, it doesn't need to be perfect. So it'll look something like this. Alright? So that was kind of tricky. I hope you guys were able to do that. Okay. And now, this is this is my favorite step. Take this flap and tuck it into the pocket. That's kind of satisfying. I really like that step. And repeat on this side too. All right. So this flap right here is going to be the teeth. And let's might as well work on the teeth. 
So fold this up in between the two points. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. Alright, rotate and fold to the edge. And now fold it, unfold it and fold it up so the crease aligns with the edge. And fold the flap down on the crease. Like this. Flap is a little bit crooked here. And then fold the flap up like that. And there's the teeth. So this is how the teeth appearing works. So um, maybe you, you, you can keep it down like that. And then the bingham up here, you just fold it up, just like that. And you can make it disappear by folding it down, <laughs> like that. It's a pretty cool little action. All right, so now let's kind of get this part rounded off more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this flap up. You wanna fold it up so that, uh, so this edge is parallel with the middle, and you want this to be like a square. Like that. Just do your best, just eyeball it. This point may align with that edge. But don't pay attention to that, pay attention to this part. Just make this like a square. And repeat on this side too. I'm just making this be like a square. See? Alright, just like this. Alright. And now, um, turn it over, and you might, uh, you might like it just like this. This is a nice looking cat head. Alright. And if you want, you can fold this up. This is optional if you want a mouth. Just fold it up in between the two points. This, see? That just suggests a mouth. Alright, just like that. Okay. And now, uh... It looks nice like this, but I think it'll be nice if we kind of get rid of these raw edges here. So I'm just going to make a little fold like this. This isn't necessary. Optional. So I'm going to make the fold hit the point and just fold it up just like this. See? So it kind of makes it a bit slanted, slightly slanted, which looks nice. And repeat on this side. I'm just doing this so it's not, uh, there's not so many raw edges. That way it's a, it's a folded edge instead of a raw edge which looks more cleaner. All right, and might as well do it right here too. That's what I did on this model. I folded that edge up just a slight. And this is gonna be like a, like a, a little curved fold. You, you don't have to do this, just, I'm just doing this so it's not raw edges. So it's folded edges, which looks nicer. See, there you go, just like that. And once you did that, there's your cat head. Turn it over and this is how it works. So you can make the teeth disappear by folding the flap down. And make them reappear by folding it up. So you can keep them down like this to show the audience. So show them that it's a normal cat head. And you can show them the back side. And just fold the, the flap up. And the teeth reappear like that. Yeah. You can make them disappear doing that. <laughs> and if you want to fold this model, Whenever I have a tutorial available, that's where I'm going to put it. Alright, well, pretty much it for this video. So, if you guys enjoyed filming this, make sure you subscribe and have a happy Halloween. Alright, see you guys later.